Hi there, welcome to Kitty Witty Paper Craft. I'm Amy, and in this video, I am going to be doing a flip through of this spring slash Easter junk journal. And this journal I am going to be offering up for auction on my eBay page. So I don't have the details of that worked out right this minute, but once this video goes um, live on my YouTube channel, I will have all the details, including a link directly to the auction in the description box. So for now, I just want to share this with you. So this is one of the biggest journals I've done. Um, it's just as far as how much is in here. It's like a pound and a half. It's filled with lots of ephemera and trims. So yeah, this is a big one. <laughs> And the charm tassel here has lots of little like spring kind of charms, Easter charms. Um, there's some little candy peeps and little resin ducks, just colorful charms. Um, there's some birds and different flowers on here, some bunnies. So that is the charm tassel. And the cover has some vintage trims on the front and the back. And I left this cover just as is, just because the colors went so well with this book and or this journal. And there's a couple little Easter spring little animals on the back. So sometimes I cover my, my backs with fabric, but I left that one as is. All right, so let's get on the inside. So in this journal, I used uh, two paper, uh, scrapbook paper collections from Echo Park. Um, and those collections, I think, are from last year or maybe even the year before. But it's um, Happy Easter and Spring were the names of those two collections. I'm trying to get everything in the view here. <laughs> so those are the two scrapbook paper collections that I used in here. And then there's tons of pages from vintage books and ledger paper in here also. This is a Dick and Jane reader here in the front. This is vintage um, gift wrap on the front and back covers. They're exactly the same. And trimmed with Rick Rack there. I love this paper. Still have some left. <laughs> and all the, um, the children's book pages in here, there's a few from The Fuzzy Duckling and there's pages from some other uh, little Golden Books and Junior Elf Books throughout also. I'll try to remember the names of all the books. Sometimes when I'm on camera, I lose my train of thought or I forget <laughs> where everything comes from. Um, I will try to link as many details as I can about this journal in the description box also. Please let me know if you have any questions as you go, um, you know, after you check out this video. Some trim. This is a... Um, vintage wallpaper pocket. This is this really nice, like thick vinyl paper. And I loved the, the scene on this. I thought that was perfect for this journal. It's just a tag with some vintage um, Swiss dot fabric. And this one is um, flocked fabric. This is the one side of a postalette this is a pocket that I made from a, a book page and I just closed it in um, because the back side of this page had a 4th of July scene on it. So I decided to make this into a pocket and I just closed that in and just brought it up um, part way and then just added washi tape and trim to the top of that. This is the other side of that postalette, and I just closed in the edges to make it a pocket. And this is some um, vintage um, note paper and a vintage index card, and a little die cut from one of the packs in my Etsy shop. Uh, die cut packs from Pretty Little Studio. And this is a shaker that I made from KB and Friends one of their, um, her Easter or spring collections that had these little box tops. And I love turning them into shakers. It's got like a little tool, sparkle tool window in it. And then there's this little clip that has a kitschy bunny and a rose charm on it. A lot of things are clipped in here with paper clips, um, not tacked down. That way you can move things around. Um, whoever, 
Vices Journal can just move all the pieces around and put them on whatever pages they want or do with the pieces what they want. This little bag has some vintage Denison Easter seals in it and some ephemera. There's lots of playing cards in here. I had a lot of spring or Easter style playing cards. This is a book, a page from Butterball, one of my favorite Junior Elf books. So I just kind of attached that to the back of the one flap I had in that signature. It's just a um, die cut from Pretty Little Studio and some ephemera. This is a page from Little Yellow Chick. It's one of my favorite illustrations from that book. This is from Betty Crocker Recipe Card Library and a journaling card from KB and Friends and a Rolodex card. It's just a little, just a little embellishment I um, put on the front and you can always take the clip off and attach this either on this pocket or somewhere else in the journal. A vintage label die cut from pretty little um, sorry from um, KB and friends and a guest check vintage trim most of the trims in here I think all of the fabric trims are vintage yeah all the fabric trims are vintage in this journal this is a really sweet little postcard I love the illustration on that And this pocket, the seed packet, has some ephemera inside of it. This is just a journaling card. This is a vintage 45 record sleeve. So I just have this in here as a pocket with some different pieces of ephemera. That's all vintage, except obviously this is a printable. This is from a simplicity pattern for this bunny costume. So I left a few of it as pages and this one I closed in and made it into a pocket. And then I attached this with just a, a little paper clip, another little embellishment there. And then I have some charms that I added to the ends of the strings that I used to, um, this is the wax linen thread that I used to so my signatures and I just left them really long and added some charms there on that page. Oh, and this is the back side of that 45 record um, pocket there. More sweet journaling card from KB and Friends, vintage index card. The die cut. These two are vintage here. This is a date book calendar from 1954 and a word flashcard. I had so much fun making this one. I love making spring journals. I just love all the colors that you get to use for spring and Easter. They're my favorites. This is... um vintage trim from, I think it's a vintage sheet probably. And I love how it's got this little flap, this over, um, folded over. And this is just a piece of vintage lace I paper clipped on there. And then I wrapped it around that page. So there's a pocket on both sides of this page here. And then just some more ephemera for journaling on. Lots of spots to journal. Lots of pieces to use to decorate your pages. Let's see, this one we have a Rolodex card and a vintage soda label and a couple journaling cards from KB and Friends. And this is a vintage coin wrapper and just a little banner from KB and Friends that I just clipped on there. I closed this vintage card in to make a pocket, and this is a vintage snap card that I just turned into a little tag. And when the journal's closed, you can 
see the ribbons on the side there. It's an envelope with just a image on there. I do not recall where I got this image. I know someone's going to ask me and <laughs> I've had this image for a long time in my collection and I don't recall where I got it from. And this is just some vintage paper here and another little journaling card. You could journal on the back of this die cut. This is a vintage Easter postcard from the turn of the century. And this one doesn't have writing on the back. So that would be a great spot for journaling and a vintage little scripture card. I forget the name of the book that this came from. I think it was the, the hungry bunny and what he found out or something like that. I'll link up all the, the books that I used in this journal in the description box. So this is just a flash card. And then I added this little printable bunny wrap around and he pops right off so you could journal on that or move that around somewhere in the journal and I just kind of had that tucked under this milk cap here and this is a vintage button card I just added some vintage trim to the edge of that and a Mary had a little lamb book page and then there's cute illustration on the back of that one too that's from a junior elf book this is a piece of vintage gift wrap and I used this on the inside of another journal I'm working on on the inside cover of that book um, but I wanted to put a piece of it in this journal too because I just love the illustrations on that and if you saw my Instagram the other day I added a little insert into this junk journal so this pulls right out there's elastic wrapped around the signature I'll show you that better in just a second so this is just a little pull out and I'm using this coloring book cover from KB and friends so this is a printable and it's the front and the back and then I just added some vintage coloring book pages and watercolor paper inside so you could use this as a little art journal and then just some lace, um, a lace doily in there for fun. And I didn't stitch any of the pages down, so you could always add more pages to this and make it a little art journal. You could later stitch them down. You can leave this out of your journal if it starts to get too thick. It's something that you can pull out and the elastic slips out off of the signature very easily. So you can totally remove it and just leave it out. Um, or, or leave it in. And you can always add things to it. Like I said, you could leave the elastic there and add something different besides this coloring book to that. So you have a couple different options there. So it's just a little pull out insert here. This I left, I was gonna make this into a pocket, but I love the colors right here. So I left that as is. You can always close that in and make it a pocket. Just another KB and Friends doily, or a, uh, printable <laughs> and some ephemera some buttons and vintage trim there vintage ledger paper this is um, little Bo peep from a junior elf book some more journaling cards this is not vintage but I love this um, this pattern from this fabric here's a die cut from Pretty little studio from one of the lamb packs and this little tally card pops off and you could journal inside of that hmm, I will add that back in later <laughs> I love this stationery the um, envelope I don't know if you caught that in the beginning I have the envelope that goes with this in one of the other signatures this was just punched with my vintage labeler and some new pink um, label there. This is chenille. This um, chenille piece that I used for this pocket, I don't know if you can tell in this video, but this piece right here, this part is like really bumpy. So it really um, is part of why this, this journal is extra, <laughs> extra wide and extra thick because of that bump right there. So this is just a printable. Again, I love this cover um, from a little coloring book 
vintage um, style coloring book that KB and Friends designed. And I just left this edge white. And when I trimmed it out, I just left that white and added some washi tape to the end there. This is another um, page from a reader and a children's dictionary. This is from a 1958 Sears catalog. There's some little dresses, little Easter dresses. This is a page from Bunny Blue, another junior elf book, and just some vintage note paper, and a die cut from KB and Friends. This is another page from this Fuzzy Duckling book. This is the sewing pattern catalog um, page pockets that I always like to add to my journals and this one I didn't put anything in the pockets because I love the illustrations on this and I didn't want to cover up the girls so you could see the illustrations really well um, but these are pockets so you could add some things to it and this is just another little fun embellishment you can tuck this in the pocket or you can leave it out like that and this is a the back side of this church offering envelope and vintage card and this is just from a little vintage notepad and this just has a few pieces of ephemera in it this is a little card this is really old this is from a game that was probably from the 30s or 40s maybe and I just have this paper clipped over the top of the page here This is some vintage trim that I just have a little like a glue dot under each um, little flower there. And then these are just kind of slipped underneath and somehow they are actually staying. So just left that there. This is just a, a pause ad. I think it's really cute. Oops, sorry about that. That's just from my collection of vintage advertising that's a printable. And some more printables here and some ephemera and a pretty little studio die cut from the Little Lambs pack. And that brings us to the end. So as I said, I don't think I forgot to mention anything. Um, if you have any questions, let me know. Um, obviously, everything that you saw in this video is included in the auction, the charms and the little um, the clips and everything. All the ephemera is included, and I will have all the details about the auction. It's going to be Friday, April 10th, and I'll probably do it for like a 24-hour auction. It'll go off on Saturday. And um, I think I'm going to do these really fully decorated journals maybe four or five times a year, probably for major holidays. Like um, I'll probably do one for Valentine's, one for Easter, one for the fall and maybe Halloween and Christmas. And I think I'm gonna do um, these really decorated ones, like I said, like four or five times a year and they will be auction items um, because these take a very long time to make when they have this much detail. Um, there's at least nine hours of work in this one. So I can't do them regularly. I do want to get back to making more of these, but they're going to be really simple ones. So um, like really quickly, I'll share you Lucky Rabbit. So my intention was to make two Easter journals this year. And this one took so much time and I just was really enjoying it and decided to just kind of go all in with this one. And for this one, I'm going to, I'm still going to sell this one. I'll probably put this one in my Etsy shop because I made the cover I just need to um, add the trim here on the insides and I have the four signatures all ready to go. So this one, I think I'm going to sew the signatures in, you know, finish uh, trimming it out. I'll probably make a tassel. I will make a tassel for those. And I'm not going to add all the trims on the edges and I won't be adding like pockets and all those decorative items. And um, this will obviously be at a lower price point. And I think I'm going to be doing that moving forward, just kind of doing more of the basic, um, less decorated journals moving forward, starting with this one. So um, 
I don't know when I'll have this one ready, probably next week. So it will be after Easter. But I think a lot of people don't um, do their memory keeping for holidays until after the holidays. So hopefully that is okay. And um, I will share this one with you as soon as I am finished. And if you have any questions about this guy, let me know. Thank you so much for watching and I'll catch you guys soon.